Hey, Shin. Come on, get in the car. Hello, boss. I brought hey, you vegetables. Lovely. Here we go. Wow, they're really fresh. Can I have one bun? Finally, they're opening up. You can stop. We'll leave it right here. Director, give us a break. Of course, our ranking has gotten worse in the last quarter. The public satisfaction rate is higher than before. I know it's only gone up by 0.4%, but it's still higher. Try to understand, Director. You know very well what conditions we're under. It isn't right. easy for us. You know we're short-staffed. Director, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. Come on. Is this how you're going to treat us? I mean, we only have four recruits. I know, one of them is very special. He's the top student, and you want him back when he's trained. The other one is the daughter of a hero. We're gonna have to take care of her, and that'll be tricky. And what did you say? Huh? You want two of them? No, 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 no. No, you can't do that to us. Hey, you're assigning actual people, not goods. That's not a two-for-one deal. No, 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 no. You can't fool me. I know everything. One of them came dead last in the exam. And the fourth one, he's a troublemaker. During his training, he was reprimanded several times. If we weren't struggling to find young recruits, would you even enroll this person? Oh my, you know what it's like. It takes a long time to train young talent like them. How about this? Look here. The Shilly police station next to us, they rank in the top 10 every year. It's a good place for training recruits like them. So I'll tell you what, let's swap personnel. It'll improve the allocation of staff. We could even swap two of them for one. Okay, how about this? We'll give them one of our senior officers and they can send us their top rookie. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, director, you've really hit my Achilles heel. Fine, let's do the two for one deal. Yeah, that was the plan we had. We're gonna have a welcoming ceremony for them. It's at nine o'clock. What? You're coming? But I, well, I mean, it's in half an hour. Okay, I'll see you at nine then. Okay, bye. Yes, yes. Okay, this is crazy. What is he thinking? Is he trying to surprise me or put me under pressure? Hey, Anne. Take all these plants and put them up there, okay? Good. Hey, Liu, what on earth are you doing? Oh, are you drawing oh, eyebrows? Sorry. Do it properly, okay. okay? And make it clean. Sure. <laughs> Lee, clean the inside and try not to smudge it with your fingerprints. Uh, I'll do it right Good. away. Chief. Hey, hey, wait. I need you and Anne to move all of those plants. Got it. Chief. Hey That's there. Not good. Everyone, I need your attention. Okay. Director Song is coming here today. He's attending the welcoming ceremony. We can't be careless about this. When you're all cleaning the station, I want it to look like a brand new house. And the new recruits, I want them to fall in love with it. I want it to be spotless, okay? You don't have to worry, <laughs> Chief. I'll keep an eye on him. Very good. Oh, don't forget, the service center. Okay, I'll go check. This is good. Zinchang, Zinchang, where do you think you're going? Sir, we're leaving. We just finished our night shift. No, no. Huh? Director Song is coming in half an hour. Be ready. I want you to attend the ceremony. You can all leave when it's over. So go put on your uniforms. Is this really necessary? I'm tired. I've been awake all night. Of course it's necessary. I'll let you know. Do you have any idea how hard I had to work to convince Director Song to give us these four new recruits? Chief, huh? what's this? I never saw you make such a big fuss when we were recruits. You? Come on, that's all ancient history. Huh? <laughs> Think about it. Four new recruits at once. That is something that's never happened in the station. No matter how many recruits come, we always do the work. And there you go again. Huh? If a real emergency happens, will you be okay with it, she Pot Billy? She doesn't like us anymore. <laughs> Sencha, wait around. I think you should pick up one of the new recruits. You know, as a junior. A junior? Uh huh? Don't torture me, Chief. Don't worry no, about it. explain what you wait, just wait, said. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want a junior. First. Hurry up, I still need to talk with Zan. But, Chief... Hurry up, go on, go on. But Tell I don't me, want how's to... it going? I'm still working on that diaper thief case. 
I've been watching footage all night. Oh, man. Somebody stealing diapers? How ridiculous. All right, carry on. Okay, sure. Look at yourself, huh? Your values suck. If you want to live a good life, then you have to work very hard. Oh, and one last thing. Do you think money is good? Huh? Do you? Do you think that I'm happy just because I have money? Well, then you're wrong. You have no idea what it's like. You couldn't understand. Stop making him cry! Hey, hey! He kicked me. Make him Come stop on, crying. Come on, it's a baby. Don't be mad. Can you please stop crying? Hey, be gentle with the baby. Why are you so rude to him? What's wrong with her? Can't you calm him down? He's way too loud. I don't want to listen to this. So wheezy. Please get him to stop. Just ignore it. Don't be so angry. Are you really the grandmother? The baby keeps crying. It's too noisy. Please just stop crying. Is that really your grandchild? I'm telling you, she's a human trafficker. Doesn't seem like it. Look at her. She keeps covering the baby's mouth. That's she right. can't Why do you grandma. keep covering its mouth? I'm getting off the bus. Are you running away now? Someone call the police. Don't let her get off the bus. She's stop her. Away I'm going. getting off. She's a here. human trafficker. Stop her. Don't let her leave. She's trying Move to run away. Way. Let Everyone me go. Let I'm me get off. I'll take I care. want to leave. Let me go. Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma uh, 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 Don't panic. You just need to explain yourself, okay? Let me get off. Do you have anything to prove that this is your grandchild? No, I don't. I mean, I do, but I didn't bring it with me. Do you have your ID with you? No, I don't. Well, the baby's crying a lot. Maybe he's hungry. Let do you me have go. I milk? promise I have an ID. The baby's crying. Maybe he's hungry. Give him some milk first. I didn't bring any milk. Let me get off the bus. She's definitely not the grandma. She's trying to steal him. She's a human Everybody just stop shouting. Let the policeman handle it. Sir, I'm don't let her you run. She's a human trafficker. To you should just arrest car. her yes, now. Okay. Please be quiet. I'll handle it. We're getting off now, and I'll take her to a police car. So don't worry, okay? Hold on, officer. Thank Please you. Please show me your police certificate. Well, I'm a cadet. I don't have one. You don't have one? I don't trust you. He's lying. You're a liar. You must be don't working with her. Off. He's been lying to us. He's a fake Wait, policeman. I'm really a policeman. I am. I promise I'm not trying to lie. Don't forget those. Why is it still such a mess out here? Clean it up quickly. Dao, clean it up carefully and hurry up. Instructor, who is that? A temp worker from outside? No, he's not. He's a new recruit. Zhao Jiwei. He's a super nice guy, very motivated to work. Young man, come here. Hey, Zhao. Come here. Come here. Let me introduce you. This is Chief of the Balehe Police Station, Chief Wang Shuhi. Chief Shouyi, new police cadet Zhao Jiwei reporting! Okay, welcome. Uh, my hands are dirty. Hey, what are you waiting for? <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Chief. Yeah? Look who's here. Hey, wow, 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 wow. You've grown so much. You're so tall now, I could hardly recognize you. Are you doing well? Mm. Good, good. <laughs> yeah. Chief, police cadet Xie Jie reporting. Please, Cadet Shadja, welcome. Welcome to you. Your mother gave us a call this morning about you. Yeah, she called me up this morning. It's true. Asked me to take care of you. She doesn't need to call me, you know. Even if she didn't call, we would still take care of you. <laughs> thank you, Chief. <laughs> Chief Chang, instructor. No need to thank me. We're a family after all. Right? From now on, Chief Chang over here will be your new mentor, okay? Mm. Her father was my mentor. And now I'm hers. This feels like a legacy. Take her upstairs and show her around. Okay. But don't forget, Director Song will be here soon for the ceremony. Got it? Yes. <gasps> Go. Excuse me. I'm Cadet Zhao Jiwei. Criminal investigation. Uh. <laughs> Hello. That's impressive. I mean it. Work hard. 
Okay, come, let's show you around. How about I help them clean up the yard? Oh, come on, go upstairs, like I said, go. <laughs> go take a look first, come on. <laughs> Time to work, Ah, huh? let's get to work. Hurry up, everyone. There are two more recruits. Why aren't they here yet? Hmm. Hey, this way. Balia police. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Huh? Chief? What is this? We're setting up the podium. <laughs> Why are you setting up a podium? It's just a welcome ceremony. Why do we need that? There are no speeches. We're trying to avoid being formal. We even got a speaker here. Take it back. Go on. Okay, okay, okay. let's go back. Let's go. Hey, Zhang, what's wrong? Human traffickers suspect on a bus. Are you sure? A human trafficker during morning traffic? <gasps> the passengers called 110, so I'll take a look. Okay, mm. get going. And please, remember, don't bring the criminal here. Try and resolve the issue out there. Okay, okay got it. Okay, good. <sighs> What's going on here? Being this late to your first day of work is not a good sign. You should have believed me when I said I was a police officer. Now get going before you're late. It's okay. Officer! Make sure you arrest that trafficker! You're a lead away. Bro, you know me. Who's your bro? Uh, lead away, Bali here, police cadet reporting. We're from the same station. It's fate. I can ride in a police car my first day. You think you're very capable, don't you? Yes. Uh, I caught a suspect today, my first day. Why the attitude? Uh, hi, I'm Lee Dawei. Hello. Just a sec, instructor. What's wrong? Quickly, quickly. Please help me find them. Find who? The director will be here soon, and the two other recruits are missing. Which two know. are missing? Where can I find them? Uh, I guess you're right. There must be contact information for them on the register somewhere. Call them, please. Yes, sir. On Good. it. Wait! One is Li Da Wei and the other is Yang Chu. Okay! Chief! Yeah! Chief! Yeah. What's going on over here? Tell Isn't me. Isn't the boy from the Xu family being released? Uh -huh. Chief Cheng is afraid that the Chao family will cause trouble. Leave it for now. We can deal with him after the welcome ceremony is over. When the director has left. Okay. What are it? We can't keep avoiding it, can we? This is going to eventually have to be resolved one way or another. They will have to meet each other anyway. To negotiate, face to face. Deng, release the boy, huh? If there's a problem, we'll mediate it. Understand? Um, okay, Chief. Hmm. Chief! Chief! Yeah? Director Song is here! Oh! Chief! How's it going over there? Have you found them? I can't find any contact details for either of them. Oh, Chief, Chief, what should we director's do? The director's car is already here. Chief! What, what, why? Why aren't they here yet? Uh, he's already here. Come on. Hello, Director! Hello. Move over. I can do it myself. <laughs> yeah. Director Song. Director. Hello. Welcome home. <laughs> On my way here, I picked up Yang Shu. Uh, uh -huh. He has his masters in law. It wasn't easy for us to get him in. So, Chief Wang, don't say that I don't care for Bali anymore. Hmm? I'll leave the talent to you. Wow. Masters in law. Director, if you don't care about Bali, who will? You were once an officer here yourself. <laughs> hey, Doctor! Welcome. <laughs> I am glad to give you a warm welcome to our station. Hello. Good. I have a master's, not a doctorate. Never mind. They're both high academic qualifications. You are elite either way. Anyway, look how handsome you are. Oh, by the way, director. Everyone is here. Let's well, begin. Well, maybe we can wait a little. What's wrong? There is still one missing. Who? The one you additionally assigned. That one. What now? Wait. Should we wait or start? Huh? Chief.
Go. Uh, yes, sir. Hmm. Quickly, tell me, tell me, tell me, what's the you problem? I have an issue with a new suspect. What? Chief, just look. Bro, I'm Lee Dawei. Who's your bro? Watch your mouth, that's the chief. Get out. Absolutely ridiculous. Huh? Sir, you know what? Take that person to the consulting room. Yes, sir. When you're done, come to the ceremony, okay? Morning, chief. Reporting for duty. So you're Lee Dawei. What took you so long? But it wasn't my fault, chief. I got the suspect. Should I follow it up? Shut your mouth. We'll discuss what happened when the welcome ceremony is over. The director is already here, so go and attend the ceremony. And behave yourself. Got it? Director, I really like the new guy. He's quite amazing. He actually caught a suspect on his very first day. Can you believe that? What a talent. <laughs> Sir. Fall in line. Yes. Let's get started. Okay. Attention! Front. Dress right. Eyes front. Director, they're all here now. We patiently await instructions. Li Da Wei. Zhao Zhi Wei. Yang Chu. Xia Jie. Zhao Chia. The year that your dad lost his, you were only this tall. I came and took you from school to the hospital. <laughs> it's been about 10 years now. Oh, come. For those of you who recently joined, you may not know, but Zhao Qi is the beloved daughter of Zhao Zhenyong, the former chief of this station. Ten years ago, I was just an ordinary policeman in this police station here. During a mission, there was a criminal with a knife. He snuck up from behind and lunged at me with a knife. I didn't even have time to dodge the attack, but luckily, her father rushed forward and blocked it. He saved me. Unfortunately, he... Director, it's a happy occasion, so let's not talk about it. Right. Sir, rest assured, all members of this station will make sure that she is protected no matter what happens. I promise you, I'll make sure that she grows up to be just like her dad. Thanks, that made me feel better. Here, fall in. Comrades, let's give a round of applause and thanks to the director. Uh, actually, I don't have much to say. The lack of new cadets has always been a problem in our bureau. Chief Wang? Sir? You used to be my mentor, and now you're the chief. I'll leave these cadets in your care, so make sure you train them well. Okay. Leave it to me. Mission accepted. Let's move on to the next point. The second quarter rankings will be announced soon. The ranking of this station is actually quite high. 93.4%. There is exactly 163 police stations in the city and you are ranked 144th. I'm sure that there's over a hundred excuses for this station's poor performance, right? Like uh, a complex composition of personnel, increased socioeconomic activity. Ah, and don't forget, you're in the suburbs too. Is that it? There's no excuse for your poor performance, and your ranking hasn't improved at all. I'm sure that most of you are aware by now that 
that your senior chief over here is already 54 years old. So he will be retiring next year. Isn't that sad, huh? For him to go into retirement under these conditions. How can you let him go? Wait. You won't get away What's with all this? that commotion? It's not I already fair. told you about this. Huh? <sighs> the Chow family, remember? The Chow family's daughter was dating the son of the Shu family. After an argument, they decided to break up. After that, the Chow family's daughter tried to commit suicide several times. At first, the boy thought that she was serious. Later on, he found out that she was pretending. Hmm? So he broke up with her. Little hmm? did he know, the daughter of the Chow family had really committed suicide. Her family got so angry and forced us to arrest him. Remember when I asked you for your advice on the issue? What? And you said to detain him. I did exactly that. But, as you know, I couldn't detain him indefinitely, so I had to release him. Ah! So you're just letting them make a scene? For goodness sake! What else did you expect me to do, sir? I couldn't detain the boy or persuade the family. Huh? And what makes it worse is that the Chow family has been complaining. They've been posting online. No matter what we do, they claim that we are corrupt. They refuse to stop calling the police corruption hotline. That's cause of them. I'm sure that if they didn't call the corruption hotline every day, our ranking would be much better. I'm sure they made us lose points. And if they hadn't, our ranking would be much better. Chief! 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 What? They're really fighting now. I'm worried they might break something. Why do you look so happy if they're fighting? Stop smiling! <laughs> he... This is how he always looks. Um, Chief Cheng, stay with the director. The rest, get back to work. And Ding, come on. Director, let's go to the office and have some water. My daughter was killed by your son. Get if out of the way, please. Different, she'd still All right, sir, be please alive calm down. Today. Just calm down, okay? What are you doing? Stop hey, that! Hey, stop filming! Stop that. No, that's not allowed here. Hey, let go! Stop! Hey, go and get help. Get out of the go. way, please. Move! Can you please all listen to me? You've lost your daughter and we understand your pain. But Xu Ximing, he didn't do anything illegal or commit a crime. Yeah, just listen. We have criticized him and lectured him. You've refused financial compensation. Then what else do you want us to do? There's nothing more that we can do. Don't make excuses for him. Everybody, he please save my daughter. No pictures, he please. basically murdered her. Back up. Back up. As long as he's alive, I'll make sure you pay for what you did. Let me tell you something. Xu Ximing didn't save her. But that doesn't mean he committed a crime. Assault and disturbing the public service is considered a crime. You keep this up, and we'll arrest you. <laughs> what did you say? My daughter just died. Don't fight I'll teach everybody. you a lesson. You police don't have no idea who I am. Tell me that. What are you doing? Hey, nobody's hey, going please. to stop me. What on earth is going on Calm here? Calm down. Arrest him right now. Maintain order. Please calm down, yes, everyone. Sir. Calm down, people. Director, director. We don't have to arrest them. Listen, I'm sure we can work around this. Huh? Is this how you work? What can I do? This matter is complicated. I mean, both sides have their own reasons, and we did everything that we could, sir. Director, we've been in the Bureau for too long. Perhaps we have forgotten the conditions here. Teacher. Yes. I still call you teacher. And it's easy to tell what you're thinking about right now. <gasps> what else can I think about? Are you blaming me for not stopping them? And not letting them cause a scene? Director, it's really not like that. Don't you know what era we're in right now? We're living in the smartphone era. The social media era. When we are all on duty, right? They can pull their phones out and use it against us whenever they want to. That can affect the public sentiment. Listen, that family is grieving. Do you know why? What's the thing called? Social death. They're not accepted by the society. So if we use force against them, we might trend on the internet for all the wrong reasons. Teacher, hmm. why are you doing this? Why are you beating around the bush now? Huh? Well... Did you arrange all of that just for me to see it? Or are you trying to tell me that... That this is the reason your satisfaction rating is so low? But sir... Or is it something else? Like how hard your work is, or you need more personnel? What is this for? Oh, come on, sir. Director, how could I arrange this for you? 
It's just what you happen to see here today. Ah, oh, that's nonsense. You just released that guy, right? Huh? No, I, I didn't. If you release him later, or let him leave through the back door, I wouldn't have seen this mess. <sighs> you don't understand. Okay, fine, I'll admit it. It's all my fault. I was overwhelmed by the welcoming ceremony and forgot about the issue. Oh, come on now. I know you too well. And you know that. You're always good at sad fishing, aren't you? What do you mean? What's sad fishing? What else do you really expect me to do now, Director? Enough. You can do whatever you want. I've put my trust in you with those rookies. Mm. I don't want to hear any excuses about the lack of personnel, all right? Fine. Before you retire, make sure you raise your satisfaction rate. Yes. Next time, we'll try to make it to the top 100. What? Top 100? <laughs> there are over 100 police stations, and your ambition is to make it to the top 100. If you don't want to make progress, I'll take back no, those no, rookies. No, 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 don't do that. Don't take them away. I'll try my best, okay? I promise. No, don't say that. Uh, can't you just try and carry forward the Feng Chiao spirit? Improve the working mechanism, enhance learning and training, and implement the Feng Chiao spirit to the fullest during your work. Can you do that, yes or no? Yes, yes, Director. Look, you don't have to worry yourself, huh? I'm leaving now. <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 Director. What is it? That top student from Peking University you came with, does he have connections? Please tell me the truth. <sighs> I told you, he was picked up on the way. Is that so? Unfortunately. Okay. Take care, sir. Bye. Chief! Chief! Yeah, yeah. Chief. What's wrong? What's it's confirmed. Wrong? That old lady is not a human trafficker. Oh, that's great news. Go and release her. Hurry. But how? Oh. Her son came and he's causing us trouble. Huh? Yeah. Hey, bro. I heard that you arrested a human trafficker today. You did your duty before coming here. That's right. She's still a suspect, under investigation. Can you tell me the details? Nothing serious. I met a human trafficker on the bus. I saw through her, and I decided to bust her. That's awesome, bro. Enforcing the law. That's the right thing to do. These people should be detained before they cause more trouble. But the underlying issue is still unresolved. We can't sacrifice principles for reconciliation. There's nothing wrong with that. The police should resolve the issues instead of aggravating them. <sighs> and what about today? Didn't they aggravate the issue? They detained that guy. Now I'm starting to see why the station is ranked number 144. What? Your remarks are absolutely marvelous. Huh? Maybe you should replace me as the chief already. Oh, chief. What I meant was... But being at the bottom can motivate us to make remarkable progress. I haven't reprimanded you yet. You were late on your first day. You caught a human trafficker, but you were almost an accomplice. Plus, you were wrong. She's not a human trafficker? Was that really her baby? Impossible. Her family just came to our station. They want to get even with you. Come on, go to the consulting room and apologize to them. Still feeling good about yourself. Yes, yes, right. We totally understand. Chief, hey, you can go. Okay. Sorry. Sir, look, we figured out what the real situation is here. It was a misunderstanding. And we're really sorry for terrifying the old lady. But since we received the call from the masses, we have no choice but to follow the procedure. Misunderstanding? How could you misunderstand? Uh, there are so many elders with babies. Why don't you suspect them as well? Why are you suspecting my mom? Because she's poorly dressed? Of course not. Tell me, does this station arrest people with snobbish eyes? Uh, sir, you must be saying that out of anger. We never make judgments based on someone's type of clothes or how they look, sir. I promise you, we won't do that here. So, 
Is it only abducted babies who cry? There are babies crying all over the streets. Does it mean that all of them are traffic? Sorry, sir. What now? Let me apologize. To you first, it was a misunderstanding. But I have to say, the situation then was indeed misleading. Your baby was crying a lot on the bus. This lady didn't comfort it. She frightened it. What do you mean by that? Sir, please calm down. Take your seat. Oh, no. You're scaring the baby. Oh, stop arguing. Stop Look, arguing. My mom does not understand this. She is really hey. old now, and that is how she talks. So, will that be counted as scaring the baby? Yes, I totally understand, sir, but I didn't mean any of this to happen. I just wanted to confirm her identity and her relationship with the baby. But your mother didn't bring her ID card. She didn't have anything else that could prove her relationship to the stop baby. Stop making excuses! Stop talking. Can you stop arguing, please? Look, you oh, okay. scared my mom. Shh, shh, shh. She has poor health. Come on, come on. Shh, shh, shh. She's edgy Rick. now. That's shame. The police didn't mean any harm. What are you talking about? Well, if there's human trafficking and the police don't respond, think about what would happen to us. Just imagine if it could really happen to us one day. My legs get weak every time I think about it. Da Wei, come on. Li Da Wei, we have to thank the lady for understanding. This is all your it's fault. Nice you should you. be taking thank care you, of man. it. No, thank don't you worry for about it, sir. Let's go home. Huh? Please, let's go um, home. This, let's just that's, go. That's it? I just want to go home. that's it. You shouldn't have let mom bring the baby out in the first place. Slow this down. This is actually all your fault. Take come it back. Don't leave anything behind. This wouldn't have happened if you weren't so you stubborn. Thank Thank you. You can be Slowly. so annoying sometimes, you know. Thank you very you know? much, sir. Uh, that way, that way. Come I on. I can't believe this. See them off, please. <clears throat> John Patrol, Godspeed. Yes, sir. Chief, it's a pleasure Afternoon. to meet you. It's done. Why are you laughing? What's so funny to you about this? Instead of comforting the family like I asked you to, you decided to make matters worse. Luckily, you met a reasonable family member. They didn't complain. Today's your first day at work. You haven't graced the station yet, but have caused more trouble. Well, luckily, Chief, all of that is settled now. Who said everything is settled? Uh, lead away? <laughs> I haven't introduced myself. I'm your new instructor, Yi Wei. Hello, instructor. I'm Li Da Wei. <laughs> you still have a oh, long way to go. Man. And there's a lot to learn here. <laughs> oh, yes. Yang Chua, let me tell you something. Our station condition is very simple. And if you need anything, please do feel free to come and ask me, okay? Huh? So, so when did the chief to the learn some Sichuan And opera? hopefully you'll teach Shh, us old dog some new tricks. Face. Oh, and I forgot to introduce you to your instructor, Yi Wei. Instructor? If you need something, don't be afraid to ask us. Chief, Instructor, you don't have to be so polite to me. There's no need. Oh, but of course <laughs> we do. Don't say that. Surely we need to take care of you. Yes, that's how we operate here. <laughs> that's just how we Chief. move here, huh? The surveillance footage is too much for me. Could you find someone to help me share the work with? Well then, is the cleaning finished? Yes! It's done, sir! Ah, well that was an easy task, so on to the next. Who's willing to take I'm willing to! Ah, you over there. Come on, let me introduce you. To Officer Zhang Ziaji. He's in charge of community work. So you are to follow Ziaji's lead on a case. Checking surveillance footage. According to the residents in the neighborhood, someone keeps stealing their baby diapers. So investigate them. Officer Zia Ji has collected 500 hours of surveillance footage. So help him to go through all of them, okay? Check the footage to look for diapers? Hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you laughing? Go ahead. Okay, you, come with me. Yes, Xiao. Let's go. Come, this way. Oh. Chief. Oh, yeah. Xi Cheng. What's wrong now? What is what it? I what told is you it? earlier. Chief. Hey, gotcha. Aren't you off today? Well, what yes, are you doing I was, here? but by the time I arrived home, I got news that made me come back. Is it about that murderer? According to the informant, he went back home. Okay. 
Take more men with you when you go there. Okay? Well, he Chief, can. Can I go? What? Newcomers? There's no way. Yeah, we have some newcomers. Let me introduce you. The deputy chief is in charge of the criminal investigation. Chief Gao, I'm the new cadet, Li Daowei. Chief, I'm Cadet Shi Jie. Chief Gao, I'm Cadet Yang Chu. Wow. Young people. Always trying things. And since you petitioned for this, let me take him. He wants the experience. Him? Fine. Take him as your second chance. Hey, Shi Cheng, Shi Cheng. Hey, take some men with you, okay? And accompany Chief, Chief Gao's team. Chang just got off night shift right now, remember? Listen, Chief, me going with him in this state will only cause trouble. And my neck has been aching for days, so I don't want to Very go. well, then. Lead away. All that depends on whether or not Officer Chen is willing to take you with or not. Uh, police Officer Chen, I'm skillful enough. I can even give a massage. Chief, I also want to go. You... Chief, can I go? College students are the treasures of this bureau. You can send them to the front line. There's no need to tell me that. This mission tends to get quite dangerous at times. So it would be better if you didn't go with them. Chief, the fact that it's dangerous is more reason for me to go with. I'm here to get trained, not to be relaxed. Chief, I'm not afraid either. Hmm. I think it's good for you two to go. Good, good. Huh. Yangshu, you go. Chief Gao, let Hi. me introduce Mr. Yangshu from Peking University. The doctor. He's the treasurer of our bureau, you know? Yeah, let him stand in the back when it's dangerous. Don't worry, Chief. Okay, Chief I'll Chief, be standing worry. there, protecting our treasure. But I can protect myself. Director, what about me? You, well... Well, Chief, here's the thing. Uh, I'll take them to get the uh -huh, equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, you guys go get changed. Actually, Chief Xiaoji. Do you want to go or not? If not, I don't mind keeping you here. No, no, Chief, I'll go. Why does he talk so much? So long, then. Chief. Yeah, how Please can I help let me you? go with him. Oh, yeah. Gee, unfortunately, I can't let you go, okay? Chief, I'm also a cadet. But you are also a girl. But that doesn't mean I must always stay out of danger. <laughs> well... I'll ask them. Listen to me. Listen careful. Look, Ji. In the future, there'll be many chances to catch the bad guys, okay? Understand? Today's your first day at work. So there's no need to make your mom worry. It's still too early for this, all right? Now go, 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 go. So oh, yeah. damn, you scared me! Am I going to lead the additionally signed guy that we got? Don't worry about it. What do you mean, are you lying? Lying to you? How could I ever do that? Well, fine, don't think about it. Go now. Get back to work. But last time... Go now, hurry. Go, 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 go. Go on, get going. Take care of the cadets. Yes, I got it. Oh, boy. Okay, listen up. You need to take really good care of your body cameras and your handcuffs, especially when there are so many people. You need to look after your weapons and equipment. But for now, although they're not expensive, the handcuffs have serial numbers. Don't lose yours. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, sorry, excuse me. You go first. Does everybody have the correct equipment? You ready? Okay, listen up. You must follow all orders on scene and follow commands. Do you understand? Good. Be careful and be alert. I will only remind you once. Keep it in mind. You must be careful. Remember it. Yes. Everyone keep in mind what Chief Gao said. Your safety always comes first. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Sign here. Hello, Mom. What's up? I'm at work. Xiaoji, did Wang Shui and his colleagues take special care of you? Mom, 
How many people have you called today? What do you mean? Did they say something? They didn't need to say anything. Even a fool could tell. Xiaojie, how can you talk to me like that? Mom, can you stop calling people at the station? It's my first day. Everyone can see the special treatment. Isn't that good? That's what they should do. They should take special care of you. <sighs> Mom. All right. Xiao Jie, come home early today. I really want us to eat some seafood. And bring some fresh abalones when you come home. Fine, I'll see. What do you mean by you'll see? They better not make you work overtime. If they do, I'll call Wang Shui. Okay, I'll see you later. Mom, that's... Some truth. 